Good morning, Cardinals. Happy Tuesday to everyone. Hope you pray everyone enjoyed their extended weekend. If you haven't had the opportunity, yesterday was Martin Luther King Day, and hopefully um, an opportunity was taken to ask God for peace, for social justice, for calm for our country. And brothers and sisters, it doesn't hurt to continue to pray for that as, uh, as our, our beloved Martin Luther King stood for social justice and for peace and for equality for all. Let us continue to seek that. Let us continue to pray for that and let us contribute to that peace and calm and equality for all. So God bless you and thank you Cardinals for that. As we go into this week, we will hear scripture from the Old Testament today and tomorrow. The Ark of God was a highly decorated wooden chest containing the tablets of the Ten Commandments. Do you remember who King David was? King David gave thanks to God because the Ark had a new permanent home in Jerusalem. King David and the people of Israel celebrated by singing God's praises. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the first book of Chronicles. They brought in the Ark of God. David appointed certain of the Levites as ministers before the Ark of the Lord to invoke, to thank, and to praise the Lord, the God of Israel. Asaph was to sound the cymbals, and the priests Benai and Jez Jahazel were to blow trumpets regularly. Then on that day, David first appointed the singing of praises to the Lord by Asaph and his kindred. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, glory in his name, his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea soar, and all that fills it. Let the field exult, and everything in it. Then shall the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So brothers and sisters, our spiritual ancestors, King David, in the Old Testament before Christ, they took the time to worship and honor God. And they took the time to sing praises to God. And so brothers and sisters, we have a long, long history of people who serve, who honor and respect and revere and thank God for the gift of life. Let us too take the example that has been set before all of us via our ancestors to make sure that we too continue to praise, worship, honor, and revere the one that created us, the one that sent us, and the one who loves us. Thank you and God bless. If you could please take a moment now to stand and face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America and God bless our world. Hope and pray you have a blessed day. God bless. Okay, we are gonna practice our SLEs. To be a person who had, lives the gospel values, we have to pray daily, to know and understand our faith, demonstrate a spirit of service. To be lifelong learners, we need to think critically, to develop skills and knowledge, and to participate in the arts. To be a person of good moral character, we need to accept accountability for our action, respect school, peers and adults and act as a good steward of the earth.